Operation Hollowstorm was the largest human military mobilization since the Pendulum Wars. It was a mission designed to launch a large-scale assault on the Locusts in the depths of Sarah. Humans are no strangers to war. After all, we've been fighting for as long as we can remember. War is all we know. In the past, we fought for emulsion. We fought for country. We fought for freedom. But it is a fight. We cannot continue. Humanity faces extinction. Unless we end this war now. So why land down, Sergeant? Why not just drill down here? Jacinto's the one place it can't dig through, and land down's a perfect spot to hit him on their own turf. Heard there's a shitload of grubs there, Sergeant. More like ten shitloads. Oh, welcome to the big sock, Sergeant Phoenix. You ready to hit the road? You know it. Well, let's go chunk some bullets at them grubs. As the COG brought together their remaining military might, they encountered heavy resistance from new enemies led by the Locust Priest Scourge. During an attack, Marcus and Dom are saved by Ty Kaliso. Ty dueled with the enemy leader, enabling Delta to escape down to the hollow in a grind lift. Ty Kaliso was a brave warrior and proud native of Iroma Island. 18 years earlier, on Iroma Island, four years before Emergency and in the last years of the Pendulum Wars, Ty was in his native environment, living off the land, hunting, when his village became decimated. His family were killed by the UIR in the attack. Shortly after, he meets Marcus Phoenix for the first time. Over the following years, Ty would become an ally and a friend to Marcus, the Cog and the civilians of Sarah. He fought alongside Marcus in the Battle of Ashfoe Fields during the Pendulum Wars. He also played a key role in saving many civilians during the evacuation of Lima. It was fitting that his actions allowed Marcus and the Cog to continue their fight on many occasions, but this time would be different. Ty was tortured by the Locusts in the darkness of the Hollow, alongside civilians and other Cog troops such as Sergeant Jonathan Harper. Ty had a saying, once the soul is gone, the body will follow. As Delta Squad continued to explore the hollow, they found and freed Ty from his cell on a prison barge. But Ty was a broken man. The torture had taken its toll. Ty took his own life as Marcus helplessly watched on. It revealed the depths the Locusts were prepared to go to to win this war, that even the strongest cog were no match for their methods. As Delta delved deeper into the hollow, they discovered a shocking revelation. The Locusts were using a giant riftworm to sink occupied human cities on the surface. The Locusts hoped the worms could sink and destroy the rock structures on the outskirts of Jacinto, the last major human city. Delta Squad comes under heavy fire and in the midst of the chaos, they get swallowed by the riftworm. While inside, they manage to kill the beast from within, thus saving Jacinto in the process. God damn it! Oh, this is just wrong. Control! Delta here! We just... <coughs> Following orders from command, Delta are sent to an abandoned COG facility. While at the facility, they uncover experimental creatures as well as locating a backdoor entrance to the hollow near the Kadar Mountains. As they explore the hollow, they find huge numbers of cages where human prisoners are being held. Dom sees this as a chance to finally find his lost love Maria, who had been missing for many years. Jack, can you find a visual match on Maria? So many people. Delta manages to locate the cage where Maria is being held and releases her from captivity. 
Maria. Dom, you awake? I brought you breakfast. The kids are at my mother's, so we got the whole day to ourselves. Dom, are you awake? The locusts had not only imprisoned Maria, they had tortured her extensively, much like they had done to Ty. Dom was heartbroken. The love of his life was nothing more than an empty shell. Marcus! I, I, I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do, man! She... No. Following this shocking revelation, Dom and Marcus launch an aggressive assault on the locusts. During this assault, they notice locusts fighting what appear to be other locusts. But these new locusts were different. Marcus and Dom now saw that the locusts were locked in a civil war with the Lamban, a group of locusts who had been exposed to emulsion, causing violent mutations. But in their eyes, a locust is a locust and they decide to destroy both forces and detonate a bomb under Jacinto, which would sink Jacinto and flood the tunnels. As Marcus and Dom battle through the tunnels on a brumac, Cole and Baird transport a bomb into the cavern. But as the brumac touches the emulsion, it goes lambent and destroys the bomb before it can be detonated. Marcus thinks on his feet and uses his father's invention, the Hammer of Dawn, to attack the brumac from above. The laser attack causes the Brumac to violently explode, causing Jacinto to sink as water flooded the cavern. Life continues on, with or without you. 